What? Hello! Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan. I'm Sean. Tonight, we talk about five whiskeys from Michigan that we enjoy. Our favorite five from Michigan, basically. Yeah. The Bourbon it. Van. Yep. Um, we've done like a collaboration series with them in the past. Yep, we've done top five series before. Top five rise you need, I think is the last one yeah. we did with them. They reached out and they're like, we're putting together a state by state, state bottle video. Yes. So a list. So here's the thing, here's the cool part about it. Everybody's always like, when are you gonna do a list of every best bottle whiskey from every state in the country? Everybody always says that, right? Do they say it like that, you think? Oh, uh, I read them in those accents. Okay, that's fair. The problem is we don't have access to every bottle in every state that would be no. so cumbersome and it'd be really hard. We don't have access to all the bottles in our state. Also true. Realistically. So they actually had this idea where they're like, we're gonna just get a hold of a bunch of different YouTube channels mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. do whiskey reviews and stuff. Like us. And then whatever state they live in, just do a video on that state. Makes it easy. I'm like, that's a great idea. Makes a nice collaborative that's a list. great idea. So we're in New Michigan. Now, it's just the best, our five favorites, basically. We'll give you the category they belong in. The categories are very loose on this. Yeah, we just kind of made them up. In to Michigan. Fit the bottles. Michigan, well, Michigan doesn't really have a lot. We got bourbon. Yeah. Some rye. Not a rye, really. A little rye. Maybe a little. Here bit. and there. Yeah. Not a ton. We don't so know. let's just kick it off hard and fast. Okay, that's okay. That's the one we're starting with. Iron <laughs> Fish Distillery, clearly planned. Wink. <laughs> Iron Fish Distillery forecast. One of the most unique whiskeys on the whole list. Yeah, this has got a lot of stuff going on. Comes on Iron Fish. Iron Fish does a lot of different projects and does a ton of different finishing. So projects. this is a four cask one. It was done in maple syrup, Caribbean rum, sherry cask, and cognac cask, and then all blended together. Yeah, at different ratios. Uh, Re it's wild. Relatively findable, forty eight ninety nine. So yeah. not a crazy expensive bottle. Iron Fish also has their estate series, yes. which are a bit more expensive, more limited. But uh, one of our buddies got one of them and said it was fantastic. Iron Fish just does like a bunch of wild projects. Their stuff is yeah. getting older. I know that. And we've been to their distillery one time. Yeah. And it was really cool, actually. Um, it's outside. It's like this beautiful place. It was like, if you want to go somewhere in the summertime. It was Michigan summer. Yeah, it was beautiful. Really cool place in the they summer. They flights and stuff. So we could try like little little uh, samples of all their offerings. Yeah. Which is cool. It was really they cool. They had cocktails. It was a fantastic yeah. place. Very cool. And you can go and stay up there on their farm. Yes. Which is also really cool. So maybe like destination wise, Iron Fish is the best destination. Yeah. Actually, Northern probably. Northern Michigan. Yeah. I'm thinking about that. Pretty. Could have just given this best destination. Next one. Okay. When I was down, I used to live in a place called Battle Creek, Kalamazoo area. Hell no. I went to this like boutique type shop one time. Okay, okay. And I'm like, just recommend some whiskey to me. And the guy's like, Journeyman's made in Michigan. I'm like, I'll try it. And I tried it and drank the whole bottle, enjoyed it at the time. Is that night? So since then, we've not really been on Journeyman like on the train. No, we they haven't. use smaller barrels often. Mm -hmm. They have really funky releases, really yep. off the wall stuff. Just like this. I went and picked up a bunch of Michigan whiskey for this video. This happened to be one of them. Everything I picked up from Journeyman actually really liked a lot. Yeah. This one was 60 bucks. Cash strength wheat whiskey. This is the Corsets Whips and Whiskey is what it's called. Distilled and bottled by Journeyman Distillery in Three Oaks, Michigan. It's 117 proof. This was $60 for a barrel proof wheat whiskey is yeah. from a distillery. Yeah. That's 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 not from one of the big boys. No. Um I mean the non cast strength version from Woodford is what 35? Something yeah. like that. Yep. So and that's from one of the big boys obviously. Yeah. And this so is, I mean you get the craft tax so it adds a couple bucks I mean cast strength. I can't believe it lot. costs sixty dollars yeah. for barrel proof wheat whiskey. I would assume that'd be more like an eighty from a craft distillery. Yeah. For what's in that bottle, but yeah. good on them. Yeah. The Corsets Whips and Whiskey, they do make a proof down. Um, this, the the Buggy Whip Wheat um, is the proof down version. The proofed up version is freaking awesome. It, it's such a good whiskey. The fact that it's made here is good awesome. on them. Like it's yeah. great. Yeah, it's Michigan whiskey. That's kind of what we're trying to do, at least oh, yeah. trying to talk about Michigan whiskey. But yeah, yep. super sweet. The wheat comes through like crazy and definitely a different experience than you'll find. But if you're stopping by Michigan or if you live here, it's worth a bottle. Wheat comes doubt. through almost like it's a 100% wheat. Almost like it's a whole different grain. Yep. All right, next one on our list, we got the Mayor Pingree. Uh, what we have right here is their Red Label, which is their own distillate. Yep. It's getting older. I think they started their, their releases at four years. Yep. Things are moving up now, what we have here. Well, it used Pingree. to be sourced four years. 
And I'm they've transferred it. it. Now this is full, no danger full Pingree five-year distillate. Yeah. It's not on there. No, and, and four year. Anything after, I think, batch 15 is all five-year Pingree distillate. There so, you go. Um, but and it is on, aging up, and um, we do believe getting better. This, I, I would say that this is best Michigan distillate. Yes. Is 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 uh, Mayor Pingree from guys, Valentine yeah. Distillery. I was going to say, if you guys have been around a while, you know we like Valentine yeah. a lot. Um, just what they're doing is awesome and they're continually getting better. Like yeah. I said, they, they've started with amazing blends and then got their own distillate mm -hmm. and it, it's just great. Yeah. They are, are, are slowly widening distribution. Yeah, it, it's hard to make a lot of yeah. continuously batched product that has the same flavor profile, especially yeah. when you're a smaller distillery. Um, that I, that's why I just think they're doing a great job is every single one I, that I've had follows pretty much the same profile. Um, I enjoy them still, yeah. and they're just like Dan said, getting bigger, doing yeah. better things. Yeah, I, 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 I think that Justin, the guy that's kind of running the distillery operation mm -hmm. aspect of it, the distilling, the blending, all of that, Justin is a very knowledgeable person, they're and he's a very passionate guy, and very hard on himself, mm -hmm. which leads to a really great product. So, yes. uh, I'd say, I'd say the best distillate in Mi the best Michigan distillate overall is, yeah. is coming out of we Valentine. previously this some of their black label blends that they've done, some more MGP stuff, but uh, highly sought after and amazing. Yeah. Just, it's a quick note. On to bottle four. Uh, this is actually a, a hometown one. This is right down the road from us. Yep. So Dan feels the need to break the bottle. I caught that one handed and I'm gonna spike oh, ginger magic. Right through the box. So this is third win. New and pretty damn new, new distillery. Yeah, uh, um, this is a very new product entirely i guess um, like when yeah. the first time we saw it a couple oh, months ago oh and this it one specifically launched. is even more newer another wheat whiskey <laughs> i said more newer <clears throat> so that's a whole sentence so yeah we have another wheat whiskey here on the list uh apparently we like wheat whiskey right i'm now. not the guy usually for wheat but you know what they're not weeded bourbons these are True. completely that different is, that is a wheat whiskey from mgp uh, and it is crushable this is the most crushable michigan Whiskey. 92 proof, $40. You can hand this to pretty much anyone and they will, more, if they like whiskey, they're gonna enjoy this. It's I think this is one of the best sweet, values from sweet. a craft distillery in the whole state. Oh, really? Because 40 bucks is, 40 yeah. bucks we're talking under, so I think 60s where you hit a new price range, right? Yep. So 60s where you're getting into like big boy territory, okay. great whiskey, yep. big, big distillery's putting on great stuff. Yep. That's good, that's barrel proof though. Yep. 40 bucks. We're talking damn near gentleman jack range. Yep. We're talking makers barrel proof range. Right? Yep. Wheat whiskey, and it, I swear to God, I bought this because I had heard that this was MGP wheat whiskey. They did blend it themselves, though. Yep. I swear to God, you could crush this bottle and just go buy another one. It's so damn good. People that don't give enough respect to people blending don't understand how hard it is. Blending's a huge deal. It's very hard. I'm gonna be honest. I said two years ago that blending would become the new thing. Hasn't yet, but it will. I'm still on this train. That it will be bigger than single barrels because it takes more. Like you Scale. just said, it's yeah. so damn difficult to actually do a good job. Anyone that knows whiskey can roll out, find a, a, a really good single barrel and be like, all right, that's our single barrel. Right. But it it's becomes much harder when you find some barrels that you're like, okay, these are decently good, but now I need to find another barrel that's wild so I can make these amazing together. Add something. Yeah. And then it's not spiky. Yeah. Right. You want to get a, what you want, like a nice smooth roller. You don't want a wooden roller coaster. You want a new metal roller coaster. Yeah. Just nice, great experience. So that's yep. really good. High hopes for uh, some new releases coming out of them soon. Yeah, that that wheat whiskey is fan freaking tastic, <laughs> especially for forty dollars. Yeah. All right, last but not least, kind of an asterisk on this one. Fifth, Don't care. well, it's in Michigan, legally, technically, and it's contractually Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend Bourbon. Yeah, I'm very proud to say that Joseph Magnus has moved to Michigan, and we have never been there. Yes, or talked to them. We've talked to Nancy briefly, but. It is email. still. Would you just? just I'm just, staring at. I get that. I need you to not. Stare at this one. That's. Oh, thought the whole shelf was gone for some reason. But yes, this recently moved uh, to Michigan within the last what eight months or so. I think is when they. Yeah, let's we'll say last year. We'll say within the last year, yep. everything's moved here. Uh, so it counts as Michigan now. It's a Michigan eight. distillery. Now, did are they heritage from Michigan? No, matter. but are they now legally from Michigan? Yes. The, our favorite releases from Magnus are all sourced anyways. It yeah. doesn't matter where the distillery is at. The distillery is in Michigan. There are no rules yep. on our list. So back to the blending thing we were talking earlier. Uh, Nancy kind of got ahead of the, the game, I do believe, in finished whiskey. So this is cognac, sherry, and armagnac 
combined together to give us this beautiful blend. Um, it's so good. Dan it's had really so got good. turned on to it like two years ago Holy or so. Holy shit, it's so good. Bought his first bottle and was like, you gotta try this. And then we've been in love with them ever since. We've had a bunch of the special releases. Yeah. Just as amazing. Um, I one one of the most yeah, worth things. retail bottles yeah. at a premium price of all time. 175-ish, give or take. It, like if you see these for 200 bucks, it's one of the, it's just one of the few bottles where you're like, yep, buy it. Yep. It, it's so hard to recommend bottles around that price range. Yep. And you see Joseph Magnus go, yep, buy it every mm -hmm. time. Just how it works. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, Doesn't happen often. Though. The cigar blend specifically is what we're referencing yeah. when we say that, but the Murray okay. Hills are really good. That's one of my favorites. We both like the Murray Hills. The normal gray label, yes. I don't love as much. Get way more of that heavy finish. Yeah. Barrel it's $90 on it. gets yeah. on that Low edge proof. of, yeah, premium for a 90 proofer, I yeah. think is what it is. So it, those though, rather have the, the best like 60 some percent. Michigan whiskey sourced from somewhere else. Yep. Is that for masterfully me. blended? But that's our list. So yeah, blended incredibly well. Tell us what we missed from Michigan. Yeah. Maybe we'll agree because we forgot. And if you stop by Michigan, the findable things are that. Yep. Probably that, and you can definitely find um, journeyman's, journeyman's iron fishes around. A lot journeyman of stuff too. like everywhere. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. Mm, tidy. I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Bourbon Van, for asking us to do this video with you guys. Check them out, and we're the Bourbon Junkies. The proof's in the pour. Yeah. The proof is in, actually like two of these are Michigan distillate, three of them.